Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, Chaplain of the Philippine Sigotes Dinsky Minder here in Vienna, Austria. I welcome you all to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is March 23, Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa Salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. From Mount Hor, the children of Israel set out on the Red Sea Road to bypass the land of Edom. But with their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people saraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents away from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a saraph and mount it on a pole, and whoever looks at it after being beaten will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole, and whenever anyone who had been beaten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 102 O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Hide not your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me in the day when I call, answer me speedily. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in His glory, when He has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for the generation to come and let His future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from His holy height. From heaven He beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Our verse before the Gospel, The seed is the word of God, Christ is the sower, all who come to him will live forever. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will look for me, but you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, He is not going to kill himself, is he? Because he said, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You belong to what is below. I belong to what is above. You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. That is why I told you, that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What I told you from the beginning, I have much to say about you in condemnation. But the one who sent me is true, and what I heard from him I tell the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them of the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you lift up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am, and that I do nothing on my own, but I say only what the Father taught me. The one who sent me is with me. I always do what is pleasing to him. He has not left me alone, because I always do what is pleasing to him. Because he spoke this way, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. But dear brothers and sisters, whenever we say we believe in Jesus, what do we really mean? What of Jesus do we believe? There are so many truths and facts about Jesus that we believe, but what does he really mean when he said, believe in me as I am? <laughs> believe in me. Ito yon. When we say we believe in Jesus, we mean, and we should mean, we believe in Jesus as the one sent by the Father. We believe in Jesus as the Messiah, the Anointed One, the One who came as sent by the Father. Yung po yung kahulugan noon. <laughs> and that is the issue that Jesus has been arguing with the Jews from the very beginning. In all their disputes, it is coming to this term of believing in Him as the One sent by the Father. If you go to the first reading from the book of Numbers, um, we are told here of the exodus no, of the Jews from, from their exile, from their slavery uh, and the freedom from Egypt as done by God. And now they are on their way to the promised land. No, 40 years that happened. And most of the time in those 40 years, they did nothing but to rebel against God, to complain against God. No? And in the... In today's context, they are complaining to God because of, of no food and no water and, well, it's a wretched food that they are receiving and they're blaming, they're blaming God and Moses why they were brought to this uh, place, no? Why removed them from Egypt and brought to this place. God, God got angry and he punished them by sending serpents. And so many were beaten by the serpents and many died. And so... Once again, they came to Moses and, and said um, to pray for them because they have sinned in complaining to God and, and, and to Moses. Can we not identify ourselves in here? Sometimes um, we are complacent with our faith and then when something terrible happens, no, when a catastrophe, whether natural or, or, or uh, uh, man-made, uh, yeah, somehow we turn again to God. And sometimes, you know, I mean, I'm just thinking, sometimes God allows this catastrophe to happen to us so that if only because of that, we will turn once again to God. Pag kami mga bagyo, katastrofe, no? puno ang simbahan, <laughs> ang daming nagdadasal, naaalala ang Diyos pag may problema. So yung ganun din dito. No? That's why they came to Moses to intercede for them to the Lord and ask the Lord to, to remove the serpents. And so Moses went up the mountain once again and asked the Lord, yeah, in behalf of, of the people. And God told Moses to, what? To make um, a seraph and mount it on a pole. And whoever would look at this uh, image will be healed. No, he will live. He will live. And so Moses did that. He made uh, a seraph serpent out of, uh, of bronze and put it on a pole and lift it up. And anyone of those beaten by the snake, by the serpent, who look at this, lived. No, They did not die. They were able to save their lives. Look at this. The power of God as represented by this uh, image of the serpent, that is the one that delivered them. That is the one that delivered this uh, juice from death, from the snake bites. The power of God represented by the image. Mm, let me do some apologetics here about the images. Again, um, look at this. Huh? God does not forbid people to build or to make images. Of course, in Deuteronomy, what is written in there is do not make images and worship. Yeah? The two should never be separated from one another because we're not doing that. We're not making images to worship it. No, We're just making images to remind us and look at this, God himself, no other than God himself, instructed um, Moses to do the image. God cannot contradict himself. That means we, are, we Catholics are in the right path. No, Good. No, And so when it was lifted up, those who were beaten by the snakes who look at that image were healed. That is also the content. This idea is the content also of, of the gospel reading that we have for today. When Jesus, again, <laughs> um, pushing himself to be believed in as the one sent by the Father, and the Jews refused to believe, no? Jesus is telling them, yeah, because you people, you belong to, 
to what is below. You belong to the world. I do not belong to this world. I belong uh, from above. I belong to, to what is above. You belong here to what is below. You are all in the dominion of sin and you will die because of that. Unless you believe in the Son of Man, then you will be delivered from that. Of course, um, Jesus also understands that the Jews cannot immediately, probably cannot immediately accept him. Kahit naman tayo, di ba? Sometimes when, uh, some, so for example, someone comes and say, I am the Son of God, we will not simply believe immediately if ever that is true. No? And so Jesus says, okay, but, but um, um, when the Son of Man is lifted up, then you would realize that I am. So you, that is the kind of sign no, that Jesus would be given to them so that they will believe that uh, he is really the one sent by the Father when he is lifted up, just like what happened in the desert with Moses, serpent being lifted up. So when Jesus is lifted up, that means when Jesus is crucified, when he is hanging on the cross, hanging between heaven and earth, no, that is the sign for them of Jesus, who Jesus really is, and who God is. No? The cross, let us be reminded, as again, is the sign of the love and the mercy of God. No? While Jesus is hanging there on the cross, that is the beautiful sign of God's love to the world. And that is where the forgiveness of sins. And whoever looks at him, really, that's why we should always look at the cross with faith in Jesus. And that is the one that will really save us, the faith in Jesus. No? Um, he is the one suspended between heaven and earth, through God and through man, our intercessor to the Father. Yeah, we are the new Jerusalem, the new Israel, the church. We are already saved by the virtue of our baptism, but not yet. Because true salvation is we are already in heaven. You know, we turn in a salvation if we are already in heaven. But we are already saved, although not yet fully, no? as we are walking in this world. Pero sometimes, sabi ko nga, we, have, we are just like the Israelites after being delivered and on the way to the promised land, they keep on complaining and rebelling. Sometimes we too in our life, ano bang reklamo nyo sa Diyos? Ano bang reklamo nyo sa mundo at sa mga nangyayari sa atin as regards our faith? We, we tend to, ano, we tend to um, complain. The faith in Jesus should be manifested in good works. No, in our time now, in good works. Love of God and love of neighbor. And so the good works that God expects us as a manifestation of our faith in Jesus is what he did, no? To, 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 to love the poor and the needy, no? And to work always for peace, for justice, and really for love. That is our responsibility. And sometimes this is the very complaint that we have. Ang hirap magmahal, ang hirap magpatawad. These are also the complaints that we have, but Please, these, these are the, the signs that we are believing in our God. Our faith in Jesus is very, very important because it will really save us. But that faith should be concretely manifested in the good works that we do to our brothers and sisters. So stop rebelling, stop complaining, just follow Jesus as he is telling us, and we will be with him in the true sense of salvation in heaven. Amen. In faith, let us pray to the Father, who through the sufferings of His Son has saved us from all condemnation. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, that God's people may succeed in spreading the good news of salvation to the world, we pray. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, that a growing number of people may accept Jesus as their Savior, we pray. Father, Bless us in the name of Jesus, that those who are earnestly searching for the truth may find Jesus, who is the light shining in the darkness of life, we pray. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus, that those who are suffering from pain, anxiety, fear, and loneliness may see the light of Christ shining over them, we pray. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus that perpetual light may shine upon the faithful departed, we pray. Father, bless us in the name of Jesus. In silence, we bring to God our personal needs and concerns.
Father in heaven, source of all blessing, grant that the blood shed by your Son may gain an increasing number of adherents to the faith, so that they may make his sacrifice fruitful for mankind. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Thank you so much for being with us in this um, meditation. Magandang araw at magandang buhay sa inyo lahat. Ciao!